Hey guys, it's Plinko here, and uh, today we have another Zetsubo Noshima uh, Easter egg video for you guys. Uh, this one was discovered by a guy on Reddit named uh, Just Another UK Gamer. And I saw this post this morning and had to get in the game and figure this one out. And uh, so that's what I did. And I've got a tutorial for you guys right here. So let's get into it. Uh, two things first. Uh, you want to have, you want to go ahead and get your uh, Skull of Nansapwa. And you also want to make sure that your player challenges are complete uh, for all players in the party. Or if you're on solo, just you. Uh, this is going to come in handy because we are going to need the electric shield uh, later on and you can only get this electric shield once you have completed all of your player challenges. So once you have all of this done and you are set up, you just want to go ahead and run around uh, on the skull ritual area and eventually lightning will strike, take out your shield and this will electrify your shield. All right, so now you want to just wait for a spider round to start. And once the spider round starts, you want to go ahead and make your way down towards the purple water in the uh, room with bodies hanging in it. Take out that skull of Nansapwe, and you want to use your left trigger to mesmerize these spiders. And what you're doing is you're looking for the spider with uh, a red mist coming off of it, and you're only able to see this uh, while you're mesmerizing the spiders. So as you can see, I found him right there. That is the spider we need to keep alive. We need to kill the rest of these spiders. Uh, so what I've found easiest to do is to just use the uh, R2 or the right trigger on this, uh, which will kind of just disintegrate anything in front of it. But just be careful not to kill the one uh, with the red mist. So you want to kill everything but the spider with the red mist. And once you've done that, you can move on to the next step, which we will get to here in just a second. All right, so we killed the last two spiders. We got this guy left. All right, so now what we want to do is take him over here to the purple water. And if you've done this correctly, you'll see him start drinking the water, like so. All right, so once we've done this, now you just have to take him to the uh, other two pools of water. So we've done the purple, you need to do the green, which is over in this area, and you also need to do the blue. So take him over here, once he's drank the water, bring him over to the blue. And now, uh, in order to keep this guy on your tail, sometimes you kind of have to backtrack a little bit because he will take off, and I think if he despawns, you may lose this. Uh, I'm not positive because I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't let him despawn, obviously, but uh, you, I think this is... So then you want to uh, take him, like I said, over to the blue water and let him uh, drink some of the blue water and that will be all three waters that he has uh, drank so far. And now once he has uh, made it all the way to all three pools of water, you want to go ahead and lower that cage over by A, uh, which is by the blue water right here. So just go up here, lower the cage. I actually did this the round before, uh, just to make sure, but uh, just for the video's sake, I went ahead and put this in, in, in order for you. Uh, and so now you wanna take the spider, just like you did for the uh, for the Easter egg, if you did the Easter egg, or, or for the uh, KT4 part, you wanna take him over here and let him climb to the cage. Now, for this video, I actually had already built the KT4 and done that step. So uh, you might want to take that uh, with a grain of salt. But uh, so now next you want to make your way back up into the, uh, the lab A and make your way over to where you have extracted this liquid from the spider before for the KT4. Raise this spider up, but instead this time it won't extract the liquid and you will actually want to pull out your uh, electric shield and melee this control panel. This will allow you to lower the spider back down. And what this does is it lowers the spider underground as you can see right there. And uh, this spider is just stuck there for the time being. Now now you have to wait. It took me one, one full round of zombies and then I had another spider round. Some people are reporting that it's taking them two rounds. But what you want to do is just wait for your next spider round, survive until then, and just kill all of these spiders. These are all going to be uh, red mist spiders, so they're a little stronger and they can kill you a, a little quicker. So just be careful and just make sure you survive this round. And once you survive this round, you will be able to uh, com continue to the next step, which you'll see here in just a second. Uh, I was able to use the KT4. 
which made this a lot easier. I would totally recommend that. Uh, the KT4 is great for spider rounds or for spiders in general. All right, so now uh, once that you, once you finished that round and killed all those spiders, you want to make your way back over to Lab A. Come back up here into the top of the lab and just raise that spider back up. Once you raise that spider back up, this machine will extract the liquid from the spider. And instead of it being blue like it was for the KT4 step, it will now be red. The little vial that collects the liquid, as you'll see here in a second. I almost died right here. Uh, <laughs> this is almost really bad, but uh, but we ended up we ended up surviving. Thank God. So uh, you want to make your way over here and you see this red vial here. You can just hold square or your action button and it will pick this up. And now you will see down in your lower right hand uh, screen the on the D-pad, your right D-pad button now activates this spider. And once you do hit this, it will mummify your body or I guess wrap it in spider webs into a little cocoon thing. And the zombies will not touch your body, but uh, they will attack the spider. And now you're able to control this spider, which is really cool. Uh, and I, we, we had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I think this is a really cool Easter egg. Uh, although the spider is really awkward to control, uh, it's really slow, and especially turning. When you're trying to turn around, it takes it takes forever. So, uh, but the good thing is, if it, if, if the zombies catch you or you get trapped you know it's not a big deal because uh you, you just respawn or it'll it'll take you back to where your body's cocooned as you'll see here in a second so uh i thought this was really cool like i said uh the the spider webs are actually really powerful and, and it seems like you get unlimited spider webs so uh but once you do die uh it will just take you back to where your body is cocooned and you will just basically respawn right where you were right where you left off so this can be used for a number of things, you know, if you get stuck on high rounds or whatever. Uh, I was able, to, I wanted to show you guys this, I was able to replenish this because I think it only gives you one per round, uh, one use to activate the spider, but I was able to get a max ammo right here and it did refill the, uh, the, the spider use so you're able to do it again. And I had also heard some rumors that you could buy lives by buying these trip mines, which uh, is not true, or at least it, if it was, they fixed it by now. Uh, because when I tried this, it just gave me trip mines and took my spider ability away. Uh, but uh, don't worry, if this happens, you can just go always go back over to the uh, Lab A area and just hold your action button again on this file and it'll give it to you one more time. So uh, you might be able to use that to uh, get more uses out of it, possibly. I didn't test that out too much. But, uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the videos if you stuck around. Make sure and subscribe and leave a like for me. It really helps me out. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Adios.